Hi, it's Michael Gaffney. Today I'm going to show you how to cluster and zone. Here we've got some lovely roses, we've got some Asiatic lilies, we've got purple stock, juicy white stock, pretty Monte Cassino, and maybe even I'll throw in some yarrow. Got it? Cluster and zone means similar flowers grouped together. So I'm going to start with some lilies. I'm going to cross their stems. See, I'm doing that down low. I'm doing a little bit of crossing. There is a cluster of lilies. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do this real quick. Watch how easy this can be. I'm gonna take a wad of stock and the key is to, st is to cross it like that. I'm gonna take a wad of white stock and put it in its own zone. It's pretty already. I'm gonna take some roses, kind of get them the same height and make a grouping of roses over there. I'll do another grouping of roses on this side since people, everybody loves roses. Number one flower in America. Like that, I'll take some more white stock and do another zone of stock. Let's see, where should I put it? I already know what you're thinking. Right over here. I'm gonna switch hands, work on the other side. I'll do a little more lilies right over here. So you see how easy it is to read when you cluster and zone, they're very easy to read. I'll put another grouping of stock and it couldn't be easier to make. I'm gonna pull these up in the center because they're in the focal range. Make sure my roses are featured. Um, now I'm gonna check and see what else I need. I need to fix these a little bit. I'm gonna put one more group of roses right over here. And then I'm gonna put, oh, I forgot my yarrow. Do I need yarrow in here? Yes, I do. I'm gonna put a group of yarrow there and a group of yarrow here, opposing, pretty much opposing sides. And then I'm gonna just collar the whole thing, break rank. No cluster, I'm gonna collar. That means collar like a shirt collar. All the way around with my pretty Monte Cassino. I'm gonna switch hands again. Keep collaring it. Everything, look at down here. Everything is sent sideways. I am not stacking it up. It goes sideways through your design. That's how you get all this in your hand. I make a few little adjustments. We could stand this one as well. Do you guys want me to stand it up? I bet you do. I'm gonna take my bark covered wire. This is what it looks like on the bolt. I'm gonna come up, put some under my finger right there. I'm gonna wrap it. Now watch this, pull really hard, as hard as you can. Go around again. Bring all your reins together on one side. your finger right there and I'm gonna spin it tighten it up hold on to those reins don't let them go really tight I'm gonna chop it yeah we'll turn this into a standing one I could drop it to vase or I could make it a standing bouquet I'm gonna cut straight across who can't do this flower design is easy flower school 101 I have schools all over the country in 17 cities. I've been doing this for a long time. I used to work on Wall Street, New York, and one day I walked in a flower shop and I said, I'm gonna stick around. Look what I'm doing. When you tap it, it forces it open like an umbrella. And there is your hand-tied bouquet. Standing on its own. Oops, it's a little tilted this way, so I'm gonna adjust it. Right there. Imagine that on your table for Easter Sunday coming up. It's gonna work. Your guests will be amazed. They'll be like, are those flowers actually standing on their own stems? Yes, they are. Again, it's called the European Standing hand Tied. Wait till these orange lilies open up. They'll be massive. And there it is. Easy to do. FlowerSchool101.com. For more information, see us online. Register for classes, 17 cities. 
You can come for a day, you can come for a week, you can come forever. Uh, but my students do amazing work. Watch the videos online. My See that space right there? It's going to fill in with orange as soon as those open up. Michael Gaffney, Flower School, 101.com. Keep blooming.